As we look around at the state of the world today, it can often feel like there is a fading away of what once seemed so permanent. And in some ways, the passing of Queen Elizabeth II last week reminded us all of that. She is a legend. She was a constant throughout the turbulent and transforming events in the last 70 years, stoic and steadfast in her service. But more than anything, she always found the right words for every moment in time. From the call she made to war evacuees in 1940, to her historic address during the pandemic, she spoke not only to the heart of her nation, but to the soul of the whole world. And when I think of the situation we're in today, her words at the height of the pandemic still resonate with me. She said, we will succeed, and that success will belong to every one of us. End of quote. She always reminded us that our future is built on new ideas and founded in our oldest values. Since the end of World War II, we have pursued the promise of democracy and of the rule of law. And the nations of the world have built together an international system promoting peace and security, justice and economic progress. Today, this is the very target of Russian missiles. What we saw in the streets of Bucha, in the scorched fields of grain, and now in the gates of Ukraine's largest nuclear plant, is not only a violation of international rules, it is the deliberate attempt to discard them once and for all. That we have to know. And this watershed moment in global politics calls for a rethink of our foreign policy agenda. This is to the time to invest in the power of our democracies. This work begins with a core group of our like-minded partners, our friends in every single democratic nation on the globe. We see the world with the same eyes. We share the same values. And we should mobilize our collective power to shape global goods. We should strive to expand the core of these democracies. The most immediate way to do this is to deepen our ties and strengthen democracies on our continent. This starts with those that are already on the path to our union. We must be at their side by every step and every day, because the path towards strong democracies and the path towards our union are one and the same. And so I want to know the people of the Western Balkans, Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia, to know, and I think I speak in the name of this noble house, you are part of our family, you are the future of our union and in our union, and our union is not complete without you. This has to be the message.